Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Today, we're going to talk about how to have a relationship with yourself. This is probably the most important relationship you can ever have in your life. I had to learn how to have a relationship with myself. And for all you perverts out there, this is not about touching yourself. This is not about playing with yourself. Even if this is probably a, 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 another side that's really important in your life. But this is not what we're talking about when we say having a relationship with yourself. But before we get into deep, make sure you subscribe to this channel, man. More videos, more messages. I'm going to have these conversations more often with you guys. DJ Magic Kenny, subscribe to this channel. Yeah, I'm by the train station today, man, so sorry for the background noise. You know, it's spring, so I'm kind of trying to enjoy outside a little bit more now. Um, but yeah, man, a relationship with yourself is something that's really important. And your parents probably didn't get to teach you that. School probably didn't get to teach you that. And if you don't take the time to learn how to grow a relationship with yourself, you're probably never going to know how, uh, how important that is. Because your, the relationship that you have with yourself it's gonna tell everybody else how to have a relationship with you. I have dated a lot of people, man, and me, myself, I didn't even um, really know how to have a proper relationship with myself, if I could say that. I always had a relationship with myself, but a proper relationship, a healthy relationship with myself, I didn't know how to have that. I had to learn how to, how to have that. And a lot of people that I've come across, man, um, they would blame me. They would say, oh, you're doing this to me. Oh, you're doing that to me. But they're doing it to themselves. Except that they just don't want me to do it to them. You get what I mean? And this is part of having a relationship with yourself because the relationship you have with yourself will tell people how to treat you. So be very careful with that. You have to learn how to have a relationship with yourself, man. Having a relationship with yourself, it's not... It's not about being selfish. It's not about having everything for yourself. It's more about learning yourself, learning the things that you like, learning the things that you don't like, learning the things that are for you, learning the things that are not for you. Um, learn what makes you happy, what makes you sad, what triggers you, what brings you back certain memories that you don't want to remember. Um, Spending time with yourself, man, is, is, is always going to be the key on how to learn yourself. But you have to learn how to build a relationship with yourself, you know. You have to learn how to st um, stay away from the things that will trigger you. The people that are not good for you. Um, it's, it's easier said than done. But I promise you, if you don't learn how to build a relationship with yourself, you probably shouldn't even try to build a relationship with anybody else. Your, your work relationship, your business relationship, your love relationship, all of these are going to be um, an illusion or they're going to be based on something else that's not even true because you don't know how to build a relationship with your own self, which is yourself. Imagine, you don't know how to build a relationship with yourself. So how, are you go how the, in the hell are you going to build a relationship with somebody else? You know what I mean? If you don't know how to drive your own car, how are you going to drive somebody else's car? That's just how it goes. So learn how to build a relationship with yourself, man. Yourself is the most important relationship you can ever have in your life. A lot of people usually say, you know, self-love, self-love. You have to love yourself. But I feel like to me, I feel like a lot of people do love themselves. And some people love themselves to an extent where they become selfish. You know, they just want everything for them, everything to work for them. They don't care who they have to sacrifice as long as everything works for them. And to me, that is selfishness. That is not self-love. Self-love is good. Self-love love is great. Don't get me wrong. But if you don't have a healthy relationship with yourself, you cannot love yourself. A healthy relationship with yourself is what? To have a good relationship with yourself. It includes what? It really, it's very simple. It really includes taking care of yourself, um, spending time with yourself, um, invest in yourself, learn. Um, we often worry about oh, what we want, what we're going to get from somebody, or we want a man that's this, we want a woman that's this, but we're not even that for ourselves. And that's including me too. You know, these are things that I had to learn. I had to spend time thinking that, okay, if I say I want a wife that's this, that's that, then I have to make sure that um, 
I learned how to become a husband that can handle a wife that's this, that's that. You know, I have to be able to have a relationship with my own self first so I can be that type of man first before I even worry about uh, um, having that type of relationship with somebody else. So it's really important, man. Learn, learn, learn how to love yourself in, in, in a healthy way. Take care of yourself. If you have to work out, find a way to stay consistent when working out. If you have to eat healthy, find a way to eat healthy food. If, you, if your house is dirty all the time, clean your house. One thing I learned by reading books and, and listening to podcasts is that um, how we feel inside, that's what we project on the outside, in the world that's, in, in the world that's around us. There's always exception to the rule. There's always going to be exception to the rule, but keep in mind that how we feel inside, we often project it on the outside, which is somebody who is not organized, somebody who is not um, consistent, somebody who doesn't have discipline. That's, that's an inside. That's a mental thing. And you're going to see it on the outside, which is what? You're going to see their room messy. You're going to see them leaving stuff everywhere. We have to uh, um, master master all of these things, man, and 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 it's just it's just really it's really important to do that. Yeah, and and often we think we think that people that's on the outside they can't see that they can't really um, see what's going on. We think that we are the only one who's, who's, who's dealing with that, and people that see us can see that. You know, when you walk into a place and then your clothes is not nice. Your, your, when I say nice, I'm not talking about expensive because a lot of people confuse looking um, good for looking expensive. We're not talking about looking expensive. We're talking about looking good. You have to make sure, like, even if you're wearing a $2 t-shirt, it doesn't matter, man. Just make sure, like, it's neat. Just make sure it's not, it's not dirty. Just make sure it's, it's proper. And dress for the occasion. Um, don't be overdressing and don't be underdressing when you're going to certain places. If you feel like you, you can't represent, like you represent yourself. It's like you're showing up every time you show up, every time you show up, every time you're stepping out in life. I'm not even talking about to a party. I'm not even talking about um, a job interview or a meeting. No, every time you step, every time you wake up in life and you're going out, make sure, unless you're about to do a dirty job. Like I said, there's always going to be exception to the rule. If you know you're about to, you're a mechanic, or you're about to work in a, in a, I don't know, you're about to work in a group home, or you're about to work, um, um, I don't know, like, you know, you're doing some dirty work type of thing. That, that's a different story. But if you're stepping out or you're going out, um, you know, make sure you keep yourself clean. Make sure you 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 align yourself in a way um, that represents how you feel inside. Because if you are happy inside on the inside and your mental is good and you are disciplined, you have you are an organized person, people are gonna see it on the outside because you're gonna take care of yourself. You're gonna express that on the outside. So learn how to build a relationship with yourself, man. Yourself will never let you down. You that's the only thing you can count on. Even if the world is turning against you, there's only two things you can always count on. It's yourself and it's God. But, um, yeah, man, a relationship with yourself will tell people how to treat you, man. And, and um, like I was going to say, um, having a relationship with yourself, is, 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 it's the standard. It's like the standard for every other relationship you're about to have. And often we walk into um, um, relationship and we think that... Um, any relationship, you know, business relationship or um, love relationship or when you walk into these relationships, we often, um, you know what it is? It's like, I'm going to give you an example. It's like, it's like you have, it's like you have a mirror, right? And then you stand in front of the mirror, but what you, what you project in front of the mirror, you expect something, you expect to see something else. That's, uh, that's, that's maybe a little bit deep, what I'm saying. But you cannot, if, you, if, if I, for example, the way that I'm dressed right now, the way that I look right now, and I stand in, a, in front of a mirror, I'm going to see this. But I'm not talking about the physical. Now I'm talking about the, the emotional. I'm talking about the discipline. I'm talking about the self-love. I'm talking about the, the relationship that I have with myself, right? 
So me getting into a relationship is literally me standing in front of a mirror, which is I'm projecting all these things and that's exactly what I'm going to get back. How can you build a relationship with yourself, man? Spend time alone. Send, spend a lot of time alone, man. Um, go on dates with yourself. Um, um, work out with yourself. Learn how to, do, how to go discipline. Don't cheat on yourself, you know? When you have a relationship with yourself, it's, it's, you have to take in consideration all of these things because if you have a relationship with yourself and you're like, ah, I don't have to do this today. Oh, uh, that's fine. Oh, uh, I can drink. Oh, uh, I can smoke today. That's fine. Oh, uh, I don't have to work out. Oh, uh, I can't do this. This is too hard. Then that's exactly how it's gonna, you're going to be in a relationship. That's exactly how people are going to treat you in a relationship as well because they can see that the relationship you have with yourself, you don't take it seriously. You don't. It's not a priority to you. So somebody is going to always going to be like, ah, oh, I don't need to do that for her. I don't need to be faithful to her. Or, I don't need to be faithful to him. Or I don't need to, to, to treat him like that. Or, you know, you, you set the standard. You set, you set the standard for how people is going to treat you. There's people that's not going to like you. There's people that's going to call you bougie. There's people that's going to call you all types of names. But guess what? They will never violate your boundaries. They will never violate your 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 the relationship that you have with yourself and at the end of the day you will always be able to walk away you will always be able to step away from the the scene or, or or the environment that they're trying to put you in because you already know that this is not for you and you already know that the relationship you have with yourself is the most important relationship that you can have and it's what's more more important for you anyway so if you don't have a relationship with yourself you can't trust yourself and that's going to be a problem because you're going to trust what people have to say. You're going to trust what people are doing. You're going to trust more what other people are saying and doing than trusting your own self because you don't even take the time to learn yourself or to know yourself. But you, you over there trying to build friendship, trying to build business relationship and trying to build um, love relationship that you don't even know what you're doing. So this is something that Man, I had man, I wish I, <laughs> I wish I knew, man, because I'm telling you, I would I would have stayed single until I would have stayed single and not really do a lot of uh, um, dating until I get to the point that I am right now. Unfortunately, that wasn't the 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 route that God chose for me. Um, but these are things that that, that are really um, important, man. And if you don't take the time. To, to, to learn how to have a relationship with yourself. I promise you, man, people is gonna treat you like shit for your entire life because they see how you treat yourself. And if people see how they how you treat yourself, then guess what? That's a sign like, okay, I can do that to you. And stop thinking that it's the other person's fault. Stop thinking that it's, it's the other people's problem. Like you fine, you perfect, you don't have any problem. Or if they didn't do that to you, no. Ask yourself, why are you tolerating them? Why are you tolerating this friendship? Why are you tolerating this relationship? Why are you tolerating these family issues? Why are you tolerating your co-workers to treat you like that? Why are you tolerating your boss to treat you like that? What does that say? That says a lot about ourselves. Um, there's a lot of bullshit, man, that I used to take from people. Um, as much as I, I, I was always a little bit stronger and I always was a rebel and fighter, but there's so many things that I've, so many BS that I've taken from people that it's all because I didn't know, I didn't have a relationship with myself, you know? I didn't really know myself. So the fact that I took the time to, I'm not saying that I'm exempt from that now, because, you know, people come with bullshit in different kind of ways, but um, there's a difference. I've seen a difference. Um, by by um by learning that so so i'm really supporting you guys man make sure you build a relationship with yourself first um before you go build a relationship with anybody else man because relationship is something that's very serious it's something that's very important a relationship can build you and a relationship can destroy you so this is why it's so important to have it first with yourself, to know exactly who you are, to date yourself, to love yourself and marry yourself before you do all of that with somebody else. So I'm in the I'm in um I'm in a park right now, man. So sorry for all the background noises, but but I hope you guys get the message. 
um subscribe to this channel man dj magic kenny make sure you have a relationship with yourself all right before you go dm anybody on instagram <laughs> peace out